Hello everybody and welcome to the May unboxing for the stationery selection. I'm going to move the box just over here and I've got my cheat sheet. Let's go ahead and jump right in. Um, I will say, I will preface this by saying that this month um, is the Artie box. And that being said, because of what was included in the Artie box, there's not a lot of smalls. But what is included is all-encompassing and you're getting a pretty big bang for your buck here. So I'm going to start off with the second biggest item and it's this brand new MD A5 square blank cotton notebook. Holy moly, there's so many words, but this is new. So I want to introduce it correctly. And this is a new size for the Midori brand. I don't think I've ever seen them do anything square, but it is a lay flat notebook. And the paper is actually divine. I wouldn't say it's textured cotton, but I wouldn't say that it's like the MD writing experience. It's very smooth, but not MD writing paper smooth, but it's not like the kind of cotton texture that you would expect in like a watercolor book or anything like that. It's smooth, there's no texture, but it's not as like silky as the MD paper, if that describes it at all correctly. <laughs> um, but yeah, like I said, this is a brand new size and I'm super pumped about this. This is really, really fun. It's got little um, labels for you to label the spine and then um, label the front so that when you're storing it for long-term storage or archive, you know what's in there. All right, next is this Pentel Vistage water brush. And I'm gonna open it. This thing is cute because it's like little. A lot of the water brushes that I've seen in the past, and I've just got one right here. They're much longer. Um, this is from Arteza, or Arteza, um, from a collaboration I did with them a while ago, but you can see that the size difference lends itself better for on-the-go coloring. But there is the actual bristle. I like the size of that. That's gonna be fun. And look how cute, it's just so cute. And I'm sure we've got a pouch that we have gotten in the past from the stationery selection that all this stuff will fit in. All right, the next item is this Snug Room sticker set from Mindwave. And I'll open it. Just so you guys don't have the glare of the plastic, but look how cute this sticker sheet is. We've got lots of plants and puppies and just cozy vibes. I love these stickers when we get these sticker sets because they're just absolutely perfect for decorating postcards. They're the perfect size for decorating postcards and that's exactly what I use it for. So that's really cute. Next up is, and I'm saving the best for last, I'm sure you guys already know what's coming, but the next item is this handkerchief. And this won the Good, Good Design Award this year. And I mean, come on. I don't know about you guys, but I'm definitely a hanky girl. I do carry a handkerchief everywhere I go because tissues just don't hold up and they get everywhere. And then if you wash them, forget about it. Um, but yeah, I do keep a kerchief always in my pocket or my purse or in my jacket pocket or sweater pocket. Um, this definitely feels different than um, the vintage handkerchiefs that I'm using. Um, or even the American version of a handkerchief. And it's because it's got this like terry towel cloth on the back. I wouldn't say it's like a thick terry cloth because it doesn't make my fingers feel funny. But there is a texture there. I hope that you guys can pick that up. But this side is really, really smooth. Like it doesn't have that same terry cloth texture. But this is meant for you to keep in your... Um, travel art pouch system so that you can clean off and dab off your 
watercolor brush when you're out on the go arting. And the last item is this full set of Kiritake Ganze Tambi watercolors. And I'm sorry if I mispronounce that. Um, but this, let me open it. This brand of watercolors has been around for a really long time. They're known for being really high end and just like super really good quality. And I mean, the vibes are just perfect. I think I've got two or three of these palettes, um, but I don't think I have this particular one. This color story is a little bit different than what I have. And honestly, the colors that it gives in the palette are much different than the colors that are coming off here. I don't really know if I'm going to test all of these colors out. I mean, I probably should. That's what we're here for, right? Um, just so we can test the quality of the paper here and then also to get a good idea of what these colors really look like compared to what's going on here. Um, and this, this gives like dreamy vibes, but I mean, we got to see what this is all about in reality. So yeah, we've got a watercolor palette, a handkerchief to dry your brush, stickers, a notebook, and the water brush. So let me go fill this up and we'll test out these watercolors. All right, so voiceover Skylar is coming at you now. I am just going to get set up. I'm going to open up my notebook here so that it's at the center of a signature. I'm not real picky on like which signature it is, but I definitely want to make sure that I have the center um, in case I need to tear it out. It makes it a little bit easier. And the only reason that I'm even thinking about that is because I don't really know how this MD cotton paper is going to handle these watercolors. So I'm trying to be very mindful of that where if I have to remove the pages because they're either too crinkly or too wet or causing an issue, I want to be able to remove them without wrecking the whole journal. So that's why I did that. And I'm just put a little bit of like a drop of water into each color palette so I can soften up the pigment a little bit so that when it comes time to actually get some color pulled up, I can actually get some of the color and I'm not just having to dig my brush in. I don't typically like to dig my brush in for a variety of reasons, mainly for the safety of my brush. I don't want to have to, I don't want to mess up my um, brushes in any way, but also I don't want to be digging giant craters into my watercolor palettes, especially one this new. Um, so I'm just being mindful of that. I'm trying to soak up the pigment a little bit just to soften things up. And I'm just cleaning my bristles on my actual handkerchief here that we got in the box. It's kind of hard to see on film. I, I guess I'm just out of frame just perfectly. Um, but I do rearrange things a little bit so you can see. And basically all I do for that is I just get it wet a little bit. Like I squeeze some more water onto the actual bristles and just sort of like lightly wipe it away. I'm not scrubbing it. I'm not being aggressive. I'm literally just wiping it. Um, and trying to be very mindful to not mix any of the colors into the other colors as well. I will say that the last four are very pigmented. They're very deep and dark and just like full color strength all the way to the very end, whereas the others towards the end, you could definitely kind of see it was getting a little bit more clearer, but I think these colors are really fun. I can't wait to use them. I think they're perfect for summer and even going into fall, it's like a perfect transition so hopefully you'll be able to see me use these in my journals in the future. That's it for me. All right, so I think we can see pretty good how these colors look and kind of hold up and kind of how the paper is holding up as well. Um, I don't want to close it quite yet, but definitely going to get some crinkle with this particular notebook. Not that I think that's a problem for anybody here, but those colors are rich. So I'm noticing pretty much all of them except for these four tend to get pretty washed out towards the side, towards the end. But these four colors really held the richness and the depth for sure. And then in terms of using this as a cleaning cloth, genius. 
absolutely genius. It worked amazingly. I mean, you guys saw in real time how amazing that was. I'm super impressed with this. I did not get the last arty box. In fact, this is probably the first art box that I've gotten in the past couple of years because I just don't typically get jazzed about the watercolor thing, but um, I told Mitz I would give it a try this year. And I think it's really cute. I really like this paper. I like this size. I think this is fun. I mean, how fluorescent are these? This looks like highlighter juice or pickle juice. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I'm impressed. I think the color depth, I mean, I, I was not worried about this brand at all because this brand is just known for being super high quality. Um, but yeah, I, ha I didn't have this palette, so I'm excited to play with this, but that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them down below and I will catch you guys later. Thanks. Bye.